Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 10.1. I've been spending my whole day shoveling snow so far, so hopefully you're going to enjoy this summary podcast about concentration and calculating concentrations. So get yourself a calculator and a periodic table. Let's hop to it. Time to concentrate. Uh That's a joke. A solution is the solute plus the solvent. Solution is the total. Solute is the small part. Solvent is the big part. The solute is dissolved. The solvent does the dissolving. Hey, look, we just did all of those vocabulary words right there. I hope you know what those are now. Concentration of a solution describes how much solute is in the solution. So concentration tells you how much of the little stuff is in the whole thing. So concentrated versus dilute. Hey, some more vocabulary word. Concentrated means lots of solute. Dilute means little solute. Lots of solute. If this is my solution, do 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 da 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 concentrated dilute hardly any. Ding. Concentration by percent. Percent equals mass of solute over mass of solution. Well, hey, wait a minute here. Mass of solute over mass of solution. That's just a part over total. I think I've seen that a bunch of times. This is still mass over mass mass of solute over mass of solution times 100%. We've seen that 90 bajillion times. Vinegar is 5% acetic acid solution, so it's 95% water. H2O2 is a 3% solution, 97% water. It doesn't have to be in water, but a lot of times it is, and for us it almost always is. 290 grams solution, hey, that's the total of sugar water is made up of 250 grams of water. Hey, that's the big part. That's way more than half. That's my solvent. What's the percent concentration of the solution? Well, percent equals solute over solution times 100%, which is part over total. And it's always going to be the little part, though. So the solute part is 290 minus 250, which is 40. So this is going to be 40 over 290 times 100%. And I ask my calculator friend, 40 divided by 290, and I get 13.8%. How many grams of magnesium sulfate are required to make 250 grams of a 1.6% solution? So is this 250 grams? That is the solution. So that means percent equals solute part over total solution times 100 percent so i'm making 250 grams of solution 250 goes here and then i'm going to kind of ignore this part by changing my 1.6 to 0.016 and i want to find grams of solute so i'm going to call that g and then to solve for this g equals cross multiply 0.016 times 250 and that is 4. 4 grams of solute. Not bad. 12 grams of potassium nitrate are dissolved in 20 grams of water. So 12 grams of potassium nitrate, that's the little part, that's the solute, especially since it is dissolved in. 20 grams of water, is that the total? Well, water's not the total. That's the solvent. Mass the solute. Hey, I just labeled that. Hey, I just label that. Okay, so the solution would be 12 plus 20. Hope you don't get your, well, of course you get your calculator out for that one. What's the percent of the solution? It's the little part solute over the total 32, which is 3 eighths, which I don't know what that is. 12 divided by 32 is 3.375 times 100% means it is 37.5 percent. Another way to describe concentration is molarity. Molarity is big M. It equals moles of solute over liters of solution. 
Its units, believe it or not, are called molars. And its symbol is M. So what does 5 molar HCl mean? It means I have 5 moles of HCl per 1 liter of solution. It doesn't mean I have 1 liter, but that's the ratio. right? I could have 25 milliliters of a 5 molar, but the ratio is 5 moles of HCl and 1 liter of solution. What's the molarity of 2.5 liter solution that it was made with 45 grams of NaCl? Whenever I see molarity, I love to write molarity equals moles over liters of solution. So my uh, molarity is what I'm solving for. M equals, that's grams, that's not moles. That's 2.5 liters, so moles over 2.5. I have two variables. I Oh, I have to change that into moles? It's been a while, but I think I can do it. 45 grams times dividing bar. Hey, two grams. Oops, I forgot to put NaCl. Times dividing bar. Grams of NaCl. One mole of NaCl. And I go to the periodic table. Sodium is a beautiful 22.99. And chlorine is 35.45. So I ask my calculator, and it says 58.44 grams, and this will tell me how many moles. So 45 divided by 58.44 equals 0.77 moles of NaCl. So now I'm a little bit closer. Molarity equals 0.77 moles over 2.5 liters. I'm going to get me an answer now. So answer divided by 2.5, and I have 0.308 and capital M, so I'd read that 0 0.308 molar sodium chloride. How many grams of calcium chloride must be dissolved to make 25 milliliters of a 3.5 molar solution? Now, by the way, did you notice? I've got to tell you this. Oh, I'll, I'll write it here since it'll be new for you. Um, you are never given, almost never, not given moles. And you're usually not given liters. So what happens, has to happen is there's a number of steps you're going to have to take. You're going to have to convert grams into moles. And you're going to have to convert milliliters into liters. And then you're going to have to do molarity equals moles over liters. And that's just what it is. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it a lot. It'll be not bad. So the first thing I do is whenever I see milliliters, I instantly go, oh, and I change it. The way you change milliliters to liters is swing the decimal three places. So that means my volume is 0 0.025 liters. Okay. So I do, again, I do like to start with molarity equals moles over liters. So how many grams of NaCl must be dissolved to make 25 milliliters 3.5 molar? 3.5 equals moles over 0 0.025. And I go, oh good, I have one variable to solve for, 3.5 times 0.025, and my moles equal 0 0.0875 moles of cackle 2. That's not my answer, though. I need my answer to be grams. 0 0.0 and 0 0.0875 moles of cackle 2 times dividing bar. One mole of cackle 2, mm, grams cackle 2. So I go to the periodic table. Calcium is 40.06 plus um, two chlorines, and chlorine is 35.45. And I get 110.96. And when I do that, so that answer times 0 0.0875, I get 9.71 grams cackle 2. And I'm done. Kind of long, but a lot of it's stuff we've seen before. You need 800 milliliters of 1.5 molar NaOH solution to neutralize some acid that it spilled. How would you make it? Now, how would you prepare it is an extra special annoying thing. Okay? So first we're going to solve and do the math. All right? So how would you prepare it? So that means we're going to need grams. Er, and this 800 milliliters, mm, change it right away to 0.8 liters. And I see molarity. Molarity equals moles over liters. So I have 1.5. And I have 0.8 liters, so I can solve for mole. 
moles equal 1.5 times 0.8, and I get 1.2 1.2 moles. So now I have 1.2 moles of NaOH. I have to tell you how to prepare it. Well, I'm going to have to go into grams because I don't have a balance that reads moles. 1.2 moles NaOH. I hate you moles. I will cancel you by putting you on the bottom in grams of NaOH. So 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.01 is 40.00 grams. So 1.2 times 40 is 48. Now you have to say how to make it. So how do you make it? This is the part that you need to do. Add 48 grams of NaOH. Now here's your temptation. You want to say to 0.8 liters. Don't say, don't say it, uh-uh-uh-uh, because that is the liters of solvent. This is the part you need to have to enough the little d means distilled water to make 800, I'm sorry, 0.800 liters of solution to enough distilled water. That's what you need to do. And that's it. Oh, did I jump one? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. So to review, there are several ways to describe how much solute is in a solution. This is called Concentration. Percent solution describes how much solute is in solution by mass and volume. Molarity describes moles of solute in a solution. Concentration of a solution doesn't change whether you have a lot or a little, or just a little bit. That is it. So I hope you enjoy thinking about summer like I will. Toodles.